Hey guys, it's Ken from KBD Productions TV. Welcome back to another Ken Domic foodie adventure just for you and just for you. I am in the awesome city of Anaheim, California, and we are gonna be eating all day long right here at In-N-Out Burgers. I have not had an In-N-Out Burgers in four years. Let me, lo let me know when was the last time you had an In-N-Out Burgers. So we're going to uh, possibly start with a cheeseburger, milkshake and fries, and then we'll uh, maybe bump it up a notch each time I come here. Sorry about the sun. <laughs> Hi, how are you? All right, how are you doing? I'm doing good, what can I get started for you? Uh, I'd love to get a cheeseburger, fries, and a vanilla shake, please. A vanilla shake, you said? Yeah. Okay, would you like any onions on that cheeseburger today? Yes, please. All right, so I have a cheeseburger with onion, a fry, and a vanilla shake. Would that be for the car today, sir? That would be it. All right, all this is gonna be uh, 889, the first one is. Thank, Thank you. you. I'm actually very excited to sink my teeth back into an In-N-Out burger. Looks like In-N-Out is hiring and uh, starting at $17 an hour. I think the first job I ever had was $3.75 an hour. Uh, and that was the first job I ever had. And then the second job, which was delivering pizza, it was $4.25 an hour. Let us know in the comments below what your first job's pay was. Everybody wants to know. Start writing. Hello. Hi, how are you? Thank you. Not a problem. Thank you. Any ketchup for you? Uh, yes, please. I'll do one. This one? Yeah. Right on. Thank you. Thank you very much. You too. All right, people. Let's park it. I wonder if we can find a shady spot. That guy took one of the shady spots. Uh, that guy took the other shady spot. <laughs> uh oh, we're doomed. Sometimes you get lucky. Ooh la la. Sometimes you don't. All right, guys, we are parked. Let's got the trusty steering wheel tray and start eating, shall we? All right, look at that. We even got a placemat. I'm not sure why they give out placemats to people in cars that possibly don't have trays. And we've got our napkins. It gets windy here once in a while, so I'll put that right there. We got a salt. We've got our in and out ketchup packet. We got our shake. Oh man, I am like almost shaking. I'm so excited. Eating at in and out all day long. Who wants to do that? I do. All right, let's go for a close up. Okay, guys, going in for that extreme close up of this amazing in and out burger meal. We're starting off with that vanilla shake. Let us know in the comments below what your favorite beverage is here at In-N-Out. Over here, we've got that In-N-Out juicy burger with the cheese, tomato, crunchy lettuce, sauce, and onions. Let us know also, do you always put onions on or do you sometimes not put onions on? I bet some of you don't like onions. And over here, we got those beautifully cooked french fries. Let's eat. First up, cheers. I'm going to try Neapolitan later. Very thick. Like, very thick milkshake. It's melted around that edge there, but trying to draw that up the straw. You got to suck hard. Ooh la la. Okay, let's get some of these fries into us. Pretty good. Oh, I thought I lost it. Oh, it's, oh yeah, it's all salt. It's like divided. Divided we stand. No, divided we fall? Ah, whatever. There you go. There's the nice dusting. Mmm. Guess 29, please. Guess 29. I found the one big tree in the parking lot, and there was no car parked right here. Bonus. Oh, those, fri those fries are awesome. Mmm. Wow. Now, of course, the main event right here. Mm -hmm. Did you take it out of the wrapper? Yeah, I personally love taking it out of the wrapper. I don't need it to be all bundled up. 
Oh yeah. <laughs> Check that out. Oh, toasted bun. Let's do it. Mm. What a beautiful tasting burger. Nice cold vegetables. Hot meat. Mm-hmm. Check out that onion. Is this dripping everywhere or what? I only got one napkin. I'm gonna have to use it to clean the car. Check it out, they put full rings of onion on there, not diced all up, which I like. Mm -hmm. What a phenomenal burger. I can't stop eating. So good. I'm going to polish the rest of this off and I'll be right back. Last bite of this wonderful burger. Mmm. A little pizza heaven. Well guys, we are all done our breakfast. I got here at 10.30. It is now 11 o'clock. I can't wait to come back here and do our late lunch, which will be around three or four. And then we'll come back here probably around seven or eight and we'll do our dinner. You cool with that? I'm cool with that. Three forty-seven in the afternoon. Uh, let's go in there and get a double double. Hello, how are you? Good. Uh, thank you, sir. Thank you. Uh, I'm gonna do a double double. Animal fries and a chocolate shake, please. No. Yeah, yeah. Just the fries. Not a problem. I usually need double double. Uh, yes, please. Perfect. Will this be for here? To go, please. To go. Okay, so I have a double double with onions, an animal fry, and a regular chocolate shake. To go. It's going to be twelve dollars and seventy-one cents, please. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah. Round number two. So I got animal fries. I don't remember me liking them a lot, but I, I always like to give things, you know, a second or third shot. That's just the kind of guy I am. Let's we'll see if we can keep that bag from blowing away. It's nice when the bags aren't rough. Like, keep it as a souvenir. Bring it back home. Make everybody in Toronto all jealous. Okay, so first up, chocolate shake. We got napkin with a bit of cheese on it from my burger. Double double. I think I bet double double is probably the most ordered thing. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. It seems to be kind of advertised a lot everywhere, so I think people probably generally always get that. I'm not gonna use that bag. I'm gonna put that in there. Hopefully that will weigh that down. Do that. Open up our animal fries. They even have a box. I don't recall, the last time I ordered this, I don't recall them having uh, a box with animal fries written on it. So maybe that's something new. Oh boy. Bend that out. Very cool. Yeah, it just smells like um, Thousand Island dressing on top of your fries. 
with uh, fried onions. All right, guys, going in for the extreme close-up of this awesome late lunch. There are the animal fries, there's the fried onions, the sauce, animal sauce, cheese, I guess it's nacho cheese. And then over here is our double, double with onion, tomato, pretty much the same thing as last time, but double cheese and double beef. And now I'm with a chocolate shake this time. I think uh, later on, I'm gonna definitely do that Neapolitan, because that thing's dynamite. I always want to go for the milkshake, but you can't drink it usually. It's just so crazy thick. Just 90, please. 90. Super thick. And delicious. Uh, I want to do, uh, let's get some of these animal fries. So I guess there's pickle in it, and that's why a lot of people uh, thought I didn't like it anymore. Yes, but 92, now please. that I like pickles and certain things, that's going to blow away, right? The onions and cheese are nice on it. The uh, the actual animal sauce, whatever that is, is kind of uh, sweet and tangy. The cheese, the cheese on there is amazing. We got the cheesy fries going. I'm gonna put my drink on this bag because it's gonna blow away. So let everybody know in the comments below for this part of the video, do you like animal fries, yay or nay? I think I just like to have it with the cheese on it and the fried onions and no sauce. I bet if you asked for that, they'd give it to you. Because the cheese is really nice. Oh, look at that, guys. Double, double. I'm gonna rip her open. Oh boy. Oh my gosh, it's so cheesy. It's slidey. It's all squishy and slidey. Too cheese, too beef, too delicious. The one thing I noticed when I ate with Adam the Woo the last time I was in, in California, when we did uh, one of the secret menu items or one of the ones where you, you don't get a bun or anything, you just eat the beef wrapped in lettuce or something, the patties are really salty. But in a good way, not in a bad way. No oh. gooey inside. Delicious, man. Those give you one napkin, but it's huge. So a very big napkin, and you need it every square inch. I'm gonna put that here, so it's gonna it's blowing away. I've attracted a pigeon. So between uh, when I came here the first time and now, I just hung out at VidCon for a bit. As soon as I'm done this, I'm gonna go back. There's a party going on at the Jelly Smack. Uh, room uh, so I'm gonna go check that out and then I'll come back here hopefully before it gets dark maybe around 8 o'clock and I've been debating whether or not to do the triple triple or the 4 by 4 I guess they call it the 3 by 3 don't they oh, this is so good if they use the same sauce in there, as they do in there, good in the burger. Just not in the fries. I'm so glad I don't live in California. Please, It'd be dangerous for me. Look at it. It's just all so gooey. That's why I think the double double is probably the number one thing on the menu. Let me know. There's a little sparrow. I'm glad there's a little cover above me.
the last bite of my late lunch. And it was an awesome late lunch down the hatch. Mm -hmm. That was an extremely messy meal. I can't wait for dinner. See you in four hours. There's a huge lineup at eight o'clock at night at the In-N-Out. Thanks. So I put up a picture of the menu board on all my social media and tons of you guys uh, commented what they would order. And I think it's uh, unanimous. And I think I'm gonna do the four by four and a Neapolitan milkshake. Let us know in the comments below if that's what you chose. Somebody also said I should do the well done fries. Let's give it a shot. Hello. All right, how are you doing? Doing okay, thank you. I'm gonna get started for you I'm gonna do the uh, uh, four by four. A four by four, okay. With the Neapolitan milkshake. Neapolitan shake. And well done fries. And a fire well done. Would you like any onion on the four by four? Yes, please. Just regular? Uh, yes. Oh yeah, it's the animal, it's the other one, right? Yeah, you can also get grilled onion on it too. Yeah, it's, I like just regular onions. Just regular, yeah. you got it. Right on. And will this be enjoyed in the car today? Uh, yes. You got it? So that 4x4 four four with onion, that one fry well, and that Neapolitan shake for the car. Fantastic. So going to be thirteen fifty eight. that person did. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good one. You too. Well. Super friendly people. Excellent. We're actually going to have you paint the next window. Okay. I do like the car a lot though. Okay. <laughs> Thanks. Hi, how are you? Alright, how are you doing? Good, good. 13 with 58 cents, please. Do you want to shake any ketchup today? Uh, I've got one, thanks. You got it. And then let me get you a receipt. Okay, thanks. Here we go. Thank You're you. Awesome. Thank you. Have a nice day. See ya. Alright, people. Once again, let's park it. If I can even get out of here. All right, guys, we are parked. We're losing light fast, so we're gonna have to eat quickly. Uh, but let's go in for a quick close-up. All right, ladies and gentlemen, our last meal of the day. Thank God. Over here, we got our Neapolitan milkshake. We'll take the lid off in a second. Over here are the well-done fries. Are they well done, guys? Uh, I've never ordered them, so they definitely look, look a little extra crispy, but we'll see. Uh, you guys will have to let me know and then we've got our 4x4 four four with onions and it looks like it's four cheese four patties tomato lettuce and sauce oh my let's start eating let's see if we can take that lid off because usually they go with the stuff oh yeah okay strawberries on the top but uh yeah it's just to mix that up let's just take the lid right off shall we mix it in oh yeah i can see the vanilla and where's that chocolate maybe they put that in first it took uh, 25 minutes for me to get my food, just to give you a heads up if you ever come here at 8 o'clock at night. So it's, I think I got here just before 8, it was like 7.55. Mmm. Yeah, go Neapolitan every time. Let's check out these fries. Mmm. <laughs> they actually are better. Well done. Thank you very much to all the people who asked me to get the well done fries. Every time I come here now, I'm gonna get the well done fries. If you haven't tried them, give them the shot and let me know if I'm right or wrong. For me, I'm right. Once again, trying to draw that thick milkshake up the straw is impossible. So, <laughs> 
Apparently, if you want to go any bigger than a four by four, they'll they'll give you this, and then they'll put patties in an extra box. They won't try and uh, build it for you, or they will not attempt to build it for you. Let's see how we can do this. Again, always ask for an extra napkin because, as you've seen throughout the course of this day, it uh, is a very very messy meal. Oh my god. Holy schmoly. I just love the presentation of their four by four burgers. And just the way they put it all together with the wrappers and all that. Wow, I am definitely gonna sleep well tonight. Cheers guys, thanks for watching. Mm. I'm gonna drip onto my fries on purpose. It's all gushing out. The four pieces of cheese. Just make it all slippery. Yes, 84 and 89, please. 84 mm. and 89. It would have been interesting, too. Mm. They did get, Did you hear that noise? They give. They did give me two napkins, probably because I know this thing's messy as hell. But I'd be interested to know if, when I pulled up to the front of that line. If somebody had got out of my car and went in and ordered the same thing, who would have got served first? The cars or the people? Because there's so many people that will see that lineup and, and get out of their car and walk in because they don't want to wait. In their car that long. That is a killer sandwich. I thought it'd be uh, lighter out at 8 o'clock, but yeah, I guess it gets darker around here. I don't know why. Mm. I've been pretty good today. I'm not slopping on myself. Definitely always have the onions on there, guys. It is awesome. Hot rod car over there. <laughs> He's trying to back out. Mm. I got a piece of that bun and it was like extra crispy. Somebody did say, uh, extra toast the buns I didn't ask for that but I think they did it anyway somebody's playing with their uh, alarm system I think four by four is overdoing it if you wanted to go big, a three by three would be fine. Because this is a monster, monster burger. Oh yeah. Extra crispy toasty bun. Look at it. I'm, I'm hoping you guys can see that. Again, it's getting dark. Extra toasted bun. Well done fries. That's why I love doing these videos, because you guys always give me extra information that makes my meal even better. Does that help? Maybe? Hey! Oh well. Lights out. Last bite of that sexy 4x4. Four four. Mmm. Mmm, super crunchy. Just not gonna use the ketchup. Finally. Mmm. 
they taste just as good without. I'm just gonna move the car into some more light. Parking lights just over here. All right, guys, I am all done here at In-N-Out in Anaheim, California. I am absolutely full. Uh, if you ever get the chance to come to an In-N-Out, uh, definitely do the double-double, definitely do the um, uh, well done fries and the Neapolitan milkshake. Uh, those are my top choices of things to eat here. And I ate here all day, so I should know, shouldn't I? Once again, guys, I'd like to thank every single one of you guys for watching my videos. I appreciate every single one of you guys for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and of course, all my channel members for all your love and support and the supporters over on Patreon. You guys rock. If you love this video, then show your support by hitting that thumbs up, ding, 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 ding. But if you're hungry for more, check out that awesome playlist I dumped on over there and we'll see you over there. Bring your hunger.